Hello everyone, this is McKay again with the BYU Software Training, and today I will be showing you how to use Auto Blend layers in Photoshop to perform a face swap. You can do this to achieve some pretty funny and wacky results, but it also has some more practical uses. For example, let's say you have a family photo where everyone's nice and smiling except you have a fuzzy child. You can use this in, a, in this photo to swap that photo of the fussy child and swap his face with a more pleasant version of that child. So the first thing you'll want to do is open up two different photos here in Photoshop. One of which will be your base and the other will be the face that gets transferred. You want to make sure that you choose two photos that are both the same front facing angle and have similar skin tones. This feature doesn't really work if you're using two faces that have wildly different skin tones, so just make sure to use faces that have that same skin color. The next thing you'll want to do is copy the base layer for your base face by hitting Command or Control J in the Layers panel, and this will give us a frame of reference to look at when we start our actual face swapping process. The next thing we'll want to do is copy the face of the one picture onto the other. We can do this by using the lasso tool. Activate this tool, then make a selection that effectively selects the face of the photo that you will transfer. Make sure to only select the face and not the head. Once that's done, go ahead and copy that selection by hitting Command or Control C or choosing Edit Copy. Go over to your other photo and then paste your selection over there by hitting Command or Control V. At this point, we'll want to align the two faces as closely as we possibly can. We want the eyes, nose, and mouth on both faces to be in the same place, otherwise things may look disproportionate when we blend these layers together. So what you want to do is go over to the Layers panel and change the opacity of the top layer to about 70%. That way we can see through the top layer to the bottom layer so we can better align these faces. Hit Command and Control T to quickly transform the top layer, and now you can scale it to fit the bottom layer as closely as possible. You can also move it and rotate it to a better position. Once that's done, go ahead and hit Enter, and go back to the Layers panel and change the opacity back to 100%. So at this point we are now getting pretty close to combine these two layers, but before we do so, we'll want to delete the chunk out of the bottom photo where the top face will go, so that Photoshop doesn't blend elements of the bottom face with the top one. The easiest way to do this is to command control click on the thumbnail of the top layer in the layers panel to make a selection around the face in its entirety, then click the eye next to that top layer to hide that layer. That way you have a selection surrounding the face, but that face will not be shown. And before we go ahead and hit delete on this bottom layer, we'll want to make sure that we make this selection just a bit smaller to give a little bit of overlap between the two layers. So go up to the top where it says select and choose modify, then select contract. In this window, you'll be able to choose how much you want to shrink your selection. We don't want to shrink it by too much, so we'll just choose about 5 points, 5 pixels. Once that's done, our selection will have shrunk just a bit, and we can go ahead and hit that delete button to delete it. Now let's go ahead and unhide that top layer so we can see it again. Now this is where the magic happens. You want to make sure both layers are selected by holding command control and selecting the top two layers. Then go up to the very top and choose edit, then choose auto blend layers, and then choose stack. Go ahead and hit OK and Photoshop will do the rest of the work for us. And there we have it, we've successfully swapped these two faces together into a beautiful creation. We're now good to go. And that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Best of luck with all your face swapping endeavors here in Photoshop.